Hi Scorpio, welcome to How I Love Tarot. This is your June 2022 reading. I am in the middle of pulling your oracle cards as and when they become relevant in the reading. I will integrate them into the reading. Thank you, Spirit. Um, then uh, now I'm going to pull your tarot. Let's see what's going on in your tarot. For those of you that have never seen me before, I'm a psychic and a medium. And um, what that means is that I'm not a book learned tarot reader, not that there's anything wrong with that, but um, I read tarot psychically and mediumistically. So I look at, I'm looking at four different areas of your life. Um, let's see if that comes out again. Um, and I'm looking at the strength challenge the outcome and right now I'm about to pull your present position and what the present position does is it validates whether this is your reading or not time is fluid and so uh, with me what you may find is that the reading doesn't resonate until a few weeks after the reading so this is a June reading and what I advise you to do is in the drop down menu when it comes up at the very end, please look at your May readings to understand whether I'm the reader for you or not. Because if I'm the reader for you, then those May readings are going to make sense. Spirit may please have the present position for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know what will validate this reading, Spirit? What will validate this reading? Thank you, Queen of Cups in the upright position. Thank you. We have the Chariot Ooh. and we have the Nine of Cups in reverse. Can I have the Strength? Wow. This is Strength and the Challenge. Tell me which is which challenge challenge strength strength thank you spirit can i have the um possible outcome what does scorpio need to know what will help them what will motivate them what will guide them in this outcome in this reading for june spirit nine of swords in the reverse We've got the strength card in the upright. There's another card Spirit is saying is here for you. It's flipped upright. Oh, King of Cups. Interesting, because we start with the Queen of Cups, we end with the King of Cups. All right, Spirit, uh, bring it forward. What's going on with Scorpio? Now, Scorpio, what we have for you here in the present position is the Queen of Cups. We've got the Chariot card and we've got the Nine of Cups. And the feeling that I get from this for you is quite interesting because what it feels like is that when you have time on your own, that white space, that free moment in your day, it feels like it's unfathomable, unfathomable where you are in a particular relationship. It feels like you've been hypnotized by a false but compelling need to respond to the needs of others. So you have somebody around you that is extremely, uh, here we got the Nine of Cups in reverse, right? They, they're not reciprocating the energy, they're taking and not giving. And it feels like in the, the space that you have that's your own time away from whatever this is. Now in a general reading, change it to person, place or thing. Um, but I'm always going to go one direction in a reading because that's the way it's unfolding for me. But in a general reading, please feel free to change it to how it fits. So it feels like this Nine of Cups energy is really kind of falling out of your, like this need that you have, you know, and I feel like it's a distortion because somewhere within you, you've, there's something causing contrast now in your life where you're just like you know what i'm done with this and um i don't need to keep 
it's like a bottomless pit, this nine of cups energy. It feels like the more you give, the more you have to give, the more they, they make you feel compelled and guilty uh, to give. And uh, so what I see here in the uh, present position is things are quite, m m uh, things are moving fast for you, um, Scorpio. It feels as if change is coming about. It feels like uh, for some of you, abundance is coming your way, money is coming your way, love is coming your way, or at least you're going after it. It feels like you are stronger than you've ever been in your life. And when I say love is coming your way, for those of you that can't take it as a love reading, think about the things that you love, right? So it could be um, in a career, a business, uh, what you love to make money in, right? It could be any area of your life that you are passionate about, but it's coming in quite quickly. Things are moving quite fast for you now, where they were quite stagnant for a long time. Um, here in the um, strength position, what we have is, um, you know, the emperor in the upright position. We have the five of cups in the reverse position and we have the queen of swords. And what we have here is this kind of um, uh, situation that you are... I don't feel like you were ever lying to yourself, Scorpio. I don't feel that. But what I feel here is a sense of obligation um, and disappointment, so much disappointment here in the Five of Cups. So for many of you, it has to do with relationships. There's disappointment in relationships and it feels like in the strength energy, um, what you want is a major victory and what you want is to have realization that you are worthy and you have a lot to give. And I know that you know that on an intellectual level, but I feel like you've been in a couple of situations that have negated that within you. And so if I were to look deep down inside your heart, what I feel here is that I would see a sense of kind of feeling bad about yourself that you could have done better, shoulda, coulda, woulda, right? And so I feel like a lot of strength now and strategizing how to um, meet your own needs and at the same time fulfilling obligations, not abandoning them in any way. But I feel like you're freeing uh, something up here in your mind and I'm kind of going into the outcome here um, as well as the challenge. So what we have here is you've made a decision You've made a decision that you're not gonna continuously be in this hurt and pain of somebody else's suffering, because I feel like they're dragging you down. I feel like in this situation that you've had no choice but to fulfill something that you're obligated to. Um, and that usually has some type of attachment to do with finances or love or family situation, whatever it is but you've gained knowledge now and you are freeing yourself from this. And I feel like it's happening sooner rather than later, but it's sitting in your challenge position because it hasn't happened yet, but you are determined to uh, flip the script in this situation. For those of you who don't know what that means, it means you're gonna turn things around. Now, I love this for your outcome. What we have is the Nine of Swords in reverse, right? So all the worry that you have had, you've had so much worry, you know, um, in regards to what is going on um, in this situation. It does feel like it's been going on for such a long time. And I feel here with the Nine of Swords now in reverse, what's occurring is that, um, you know, like it, it felt like you needed to become really um strong to walk away and maybe you did but in your mind you are walking away you're detaching you're completely detaching from this situation i feel like what you're doing here is seeking your success and fulfillment you're looking at your life the rest of your life and you you're taking stock of um your ability to be yourself, to chase your dreams, to have that fire within you each day. It looks like what you're doing is there's some type of contrast that's occurring in your life, Scorpio, and it's causing you to take a deep look at yourself and have this level of presence within you and to seek out your own potential again. 
And I feel like there is somebody, for some of you, that is causing that contrast. I feel like, you know, uh, for those of you that are in an unfulfilling relationship or unfulfilling situation that has brought you deep sadness or deep disappointment, I feel now that you're ready to go after something new. I don't feel like you want to stay in this situation anymore. And so you're going after it very, very forcefully, meaning that very strategically you're using your mind. And I feel like no matter what, you're going to have success and fulfillment. It's going to take time, right? Because Rome wasn't built in a day. But I do feel like, you know, whenever we put our mind to something, um, we can create it. And uh, that's where it feels that you are now. Scorpio, I hope this reading helped and hit the subscribe, like, share button. Please hit, hit, that, hit that bell button so the next time... Uh, the reading your next reading is posted you will get notified thank you scorpio i will talk to you soon